For someone who's not familiar with these BCIs, can you catch us up on the landscape here? What kinds of things are they helping patients do right now? It's a very exciting field. I think the best way to think about brain-computer interface technology is really to think about what the brain does and understand what are the inputs and outputs of the brain, and then understand what can be damaged with injuries of the nervous system, because that's exactly what these devices aim to restore. So as we all know, there's five main senses, right? We have sight, smell, hearing, taste, and touch. And uh, those are the inputs to the brain. And then we have the outputs, and what can the brain do to interact with the world? That's really movement of muscles of the mouth, muscles of the hand to write, muscles of the leg to move. And therefore, what brain-computer interfaces are aiming to do is either helping get signals into the brain uh, through uh, to restore some of the senses that have been lost, uh, or get signals out of the brain to re-enable patients to interact with the world.